Shooting Alpha Target! One of the features from the Dark Tide beta that really surprised me was the emphasis on grenades in the sharpshooter skill tree. I think it's unlikely the talent selection we had in the beta will be carried over one to one in the final game, especially if we consider what early V2 talents looked like and what they finally ended up being months and years later. But thematics notwithstanding, I'm always a fan of meaningful choices in a character's skills and Veteran had some good ones to choose from, even within the same row. There was one build in particular though that felt like it took a tremendous amount of pressure off the team when density and armor started building up and getting scary on Heresy 4 and Damnation 5 and it centered around two talents in particular, Demolition Team in Row 3 and Demolition Stockpile in Row 2. Every 45 seconds you would automatically regain a grenade by I guess pulling it out of your ass and both you and your allies in Coherency would have an 8% chance to regen grenades on enemy kill. Now, as has often been the case in the history of the series, these talents did not always work properly, but when they did, they made for significantly easier runs in a coordinated team, because you'd have functionally unlimited explosives and stun grenades to chuck at your feet when things started becoming dangerous. If crushers, maulers, and flak armored enemies started building up within a horde, you could end the threat before it even started, essentially, getting rid of all the adds, stunning or jibbing dozens of enemies at a time, and isolating whichever few targets were left at the end of the deluge. Now personally, I believe grenades need a few changes. They're clearly not as powerful as bombs in Vermintide, but for obvious reasons they can't be if you're gonna be allowed to carry four of them in your inventory and let them passively regen over time. And in my opinion, they should deal at least a bit of friendly fire damage or remove your toughness over shield if they land at your ally's feet. You should not be able to throw explosives at your teammates' shoes and have them utterly ignore it. If it explodes near their toes, they should probably lose their overshield at least. That seems reasonable to me. You shouldn't just be able to chuck grenades at your feet as a strat on Damnation 5. Just my opinion. If you disagree, feel free to share. Now, the gameplay here was recorded on Heresy 4 with a squad of randoms and zero communication, so it doesn't fully demonstrate the strat I'm talking about, nor does it push the limits of what that build is truly capable of but you'll still see shades of its power here, and it was a really fun run that shows what Veteran can do, and perhaps you'll learn a few things along the way as well. Enjoy. The air tastes like... All right, let's get a poppin'. Burning blood. Unusual. Must you always complain? Air quality will improve beyond the vent outflow. Soldiers fight wars, but you need places like this to make the weapons for us. Cantrell pattern last gun and chain sword for this run. Going for a kind of grenadier themed build here. All about the nades, man. It's like Halo. A bunch of frags. Too many frags. Juicy. I do not know my teammates for this run, so I'm not gonna... I, I mean, I honestly have no idea how this is gonna go. Um, typically running pumps. Not the best way to win runs. I'm gonna kill those barrels so that, uh... <laughs> we don't get exploded as we walk by them. I feel like I've taken more damage from those barrels than... actual enemies during the course of this beta. That's a lot of bad guys. Ooh, that's not good. There's a bomber somewhere. This 7% toughness regen when you're far from enemies is absurdly good on that. Like, I don't... It, I feel like it's hard to run anything else. Sniper up there, I can't get him. Can I shoot through? No, I can't shoot through that. I got him.
Like, if I'm sitting in the back, even on Heresy 4, if I'm getting shot by a bunch of lads, my shield will, like, out-regen the damage that's coming in. It's really good. Teammates are kind of getting spread here. Sometimes you gotta be the mama duck, mother goose. Get the babies in a row. I like our team comp though. Honestly, I think of any character in the game that you can run four of, it's probably Vet. You probably get away with it with Ogren as well, but then your special time is gonna be really bad. I think four veterans is probably the strongest you could run if you're running four of the same character. I guess maybe four psychers on damnation. But then you're just really squishy. I just hit that dude in the face with a grenade. I love that localized gore and damage. That's so sick. Of they did a great job with that. You see it more with a thunder hammer, but whenever you land an attack on a specific part of their body, it gets messed up. I've seen those models looking like zombies after a few hits from a thunder hammer. Just skull all exposed. Intestines hanging out. It's a good time, man. Gore looks really good in this game. I just do a lot of battles, honestly. Nope. I'm liking this last gun a lot. Oh, that uh, blood decal is gross. Okay. So this is one of those things where you don't want to rush it. Basically, you open the door, you see a lot of armor and ambient enemies. You want to just kind of pull them. Get them away from the Laz. And then start chucking nades. Sit casually in the back here, picking things off. Alright, Chainsaw, show me something. <laughs> hey, can you die? Thank you. My lord. Eliminating alpha target. So I don't know if you guys heard it or saw it there, but whenever you hear that, if you dodge, you have a couple frames there that you can just go laterally, left or right, and you will be able to dodge that sniper shot. So I think. That's cool. <laughs> uh, you can do that pretty much as much as you want. I think you can stand in the open. And if your your timing's good, you could dodge Dan's sniper rifle shots. Even against two. You saw that I was able to get out of the way pretty easily, actually. I don't know yet how consistent it is, because it can't it's hard to test it, right? I haven't gotten the opportunity to do that yet. But it does seem like you can do that pretty consistently if you want. Which is important, because they're a problem. On the higher difficulties. I mean, even on, her on uh, like difficulty 3. They will take your overshield and like half your health, no problem. On 5, they'll basically down you in a single shot through your shield. <laughs> they're, they're gross. Now, if you're playing veteran, do not be shy about using volley fire in your ultimate. Especially if you're running the let your allies see whatever you've highlighted as well talent. It's a really short cooldown. 
giving your teammates all that info. Even if you're not necessarily firing and stuff. Like, that's a great way to just check out what's in a room. See if there's a bunch of ambient gunners or something. I do regret we're running out of time here on the bed. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get any actual good shovel gameplay before it's all said and done. I'm so looking forward to a game skin, man. There's so much cool shit they could do for cosmetics. Need to go slow here. Probably a lot of stuff. I really like this event. This event has an awesome, o well, I mean, the whole game has a freaking awesome OST, but this one in particular <laughs> has a really good one. You get healed up and then drop. Oh, dude's running combat shotgun. Hell yeah. There's stuff up there. All right, boys. Set up over here in the corner. This way. Cut off some of those line of sights for the last teams. They will mess you up pretty bad. Ready and kill shot. Say till the bomber, comrades. Those bombers are ridiculous, man. They will yeet that shit like over three buildings perfectly into a corner where they can't see you. They will make you sad. Sniper! Bastion 220 engaged! This team seems to know what it's doing, that's good. God, this music's a banger. Well, that was a sexy nade. I just saw a couple dudes flying in the background there. Um, so apparently there's gonna be a couple different patterns of last guns in the final game. Um, obviously Cantrell's already in. I think it's the Cadian pattern, if I remember correctly. What wretched past does thy mask hide? Ah, very well. I am fluent in all 101 core binharic cants of the 89th discipline. Thy words are riddles, and thy faith is lacking. Careful, homies. Might get a little bit scary after here. A lot of stuff up. Precision fire! Oh, they're above us. You've got fakes like a kick scabra. What's going on? But I think we're getting Akatran pattern from the Elysium Drop Troopers. 
Or it's kind of like a bull pop design. Shortened version. Because they're flying around on jetpacks and she. Which is pretty sick. And I believe we're getting Lucius Pattern as well, which is Krieger. So how those will play differently from a functional perspective, I have no idea. Kind of the... Part of the issue with the stats, the way they're working right now, and I mean, one, they're not very understandable, right? Like, it's very opaque from a design perspective, which will hopefully change for the final game. But when you see those stat differences, I don't know that they're going to be able to make the last guns play very differently, and maybe that's... Well, I don't know. I don't know how they're, they're going to handle it. I guess we'll just wait and see. That's a plague over I think. Hopefully they can make those last guns have meaningful differences based. Even before we get to the stat. Changes of like a certain drop. Important thing with any boss, you want to kite them to an area where you have room to maneuver. So that's what we're going to do. Back them up into this room here. Thankfully my teammates are listening. Oh, we're destroying him. He might be he might be dying a little bit too easy. For the difficulty we're at. It's not like we're over level. It's not like we're level 30 characters. We're like all 18, 20 max. It's the second hardest difficulty. I probably shouldn't drop that quick. You wanna make your way down through the superstructure? Haven't run into anything too crazy, honestly. Up to this point, it's been one of the, the simpler heresy runs I've had. I think part of that is because the team's pretty competent, so we're eliminating things before it becomes a problem. But Oh, we might have we might have something interesting here. We got a bulwark and a reaper. All these areas where there's a lot of catwalks and elevation and a lot of range troops, these can get scary. I do like that. As much as I don't necessarily love the chain sword and skirt implementation. It can still be fun sometimes. It's almost like when you get to use it as an actual chainsword, it's pretty cool. <laughs> you just don't get to do that too often. The sniper up as well. Oh yeah, we got a lot of gunners up. Those Reapers are so cool. Honestly, the enemy designs, even though they don't maybe stand out quite as much as they did in Vermintide, a lot of them are really cool. The evil-looking Ogrens. And each of them have a bunch of different designs as well. They're not all uniform like they were in Vermintide. Dude wants ammo, so we'll drop some for him right there. I really like when games do that, where it's not just like one pattern for an enemy character. There's multiple variants of them, so you get some of that variety. Oh my god, dogs have so much HP, man. <laughs> they don't die? It's such a big departure from Assassins in Vermintide. They move so weird too. It's interesting this gun has a charging handle. I don't know what that's for. Like I get why it would exist on a regular 
I mean, I, more for satisfaction and coolness, honestly. Eliminating Alpha Target! That's a lot of bad guys. That's a bit scary. That was really far from that barrel. Oh, this, this is starting to get dangerous. When the homies start getting split, this is when it, this is what happens. I don't really have a choice right now. Coming, friend. Bruh. Okay, we lost one. I'm not gonna have a lot of nades. We got a horde coming. Nice, it actually killed something quickly. Hell yeah. <laughs> We're doing it. Did get to my team? No, dude. I probably could have dodged better than that. No, I have to reload. Oh, they're getting wrecked. I'm coming. Oh my god, this mutant is absolutely destroying us. I can't get him. Uh, I did not play that as well as I should have. But that mutant really screwed us up there. Like, bad. I think he literally led to... That led to all three of our deaths. That's a situation where the chainsaw really doesn't perform well. Like, having a cat chainsaw sword there would have made that so much easier. You just dodge dance and keep getting headshots and cleaving. I just don't have enough cleave there to kill a lot of enemies quickly. And also kill the mutant as he's charging. But I, I definitely didn't play that right regardless. That was a fun little run. The, the grenade build for veteran is, is legit strong though. It's legit good.